perform a posterior drawer test to assess for the posterior cruciate ligament, you're going to set them up in the exact same position as the anterior cruci cruciate ligament test. Except this time, you're going to be grasping the tibia and pressing posterior, or more into the patient. This is going to assess for the posterior cruciate ligament. And what you're going to be feeling for is you're going to feel for a, a resisted infield. So as I push back, it's kind of soft and spongy, but resisted. If the patient had a posterior cruciate ligament injury, what you would do is you'd be pushing back, and the knee would keep wanting to give. It would keep wanting to translate backwards. Uh, the posterior cruciate in injuries are a lot less common than the anterior cruciate because the posterior cruciate, the PCL, is a lot stronger than the ACL. But if, if I, as I go to push back and the patient's knee kept wanting to go, so the translation of the tibia and the femur, if it kept wanting to go back posteriorly, that would indicate a posterior cruciate injury. 